Hey everybody, we're back. Hollywood producers react. I'm Scott. I'm Sam. We're eating popcorn. Popcorn. It's the only thing I could get to get him out of his little cave, his hibernation cave, to come back, help me out with this reaction today. And today's reaction is what? Mmm, popcorn. No, that's not, that's not what we're reacting to. We're doing Monkey Man. Monkey Man. Now, I don't know anything about this. Never heard of it. This is kind of out of the blue for me. And a lot of people probably be like, are you kidding me? What kind of, what, what hole did you crawl out of? And Sam can answer that. I, I can literally tell you. He I've just rolled holes. He just came out of that hole <laughs> I live to do hole. this. <laughs> <laughs> I do know that uh, Jordan Peele has something to do with this. Love him. Big fan of the stuff that he does. Big fan of everything he does. Um, yeah, and he always seems to do really interesting things. So um, I am curious to see what Monkey Man is and because we know nothing else about it we're just going to jump into it and then we can talk about it after sounds like a plan all right universal i recognize him in the middle and you find no i don't never mind yeah you do when i was a boy my mother used to tell me a story of a demon king and his army. They brought fire and terror to the land. Until they Not faced the protector of the people, the white monkey. There you are. You are a beast. <laughs> the job no one wants to do. I'll do it. Anyone who forgets their beliefs, it doesn't turn out well for them. Ow. I wonder how many takes that took. That's only one. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Like Every day, I've prayed for a way to protect the weak. I've got an answer like to every prayer. I call on Nikki. I don't know. Minaj. Big bumper. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Let's boogie. That's awesome. All right, so he's. <laughs> so he's a good fighter. He's out for revenge. I've never <laughs> seen him like this. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually funny. Huh? Wow. You need to fight for your mother, for all of us. Anger will not quiet your soul, my son. Don't call me son. Oh, is, he, is that his dad? Or is he just... Probably well, that as a term. Yeah, I remember. Wow. Just one small ember can burn down everything. <laughs> oh, but it is his dad. Are you ready for a fight? One, two, three. Got a little John Wick in. Mm -hmm. I guess it's wow. he's, he's a wrestler who dresses as an ape in order to seek revenge against bad doers, uh, good bad do deers, indeed bad doers. <laughs> I know. agree with most of that, except it didn't look like wrestling to me. He was like they were fighting, fighting. Oh yeah, well, for fighting. real. Yeah, that's what I said. Um, <laughs> Yeah, that looks amazing, actually. I, I am just, from a production standpoint, that was very highly produced. 
Yeah, and I've never seen Patel like that before. Right? Well, I think that's what's interesting. That's what makes this. It, it, did it, they say he directed it? He was directing it too? I didn't catch that. I'll have to go back and look. <laughs> and director Dev Patel. Wow, he's coming up in the world. The fact that this has got to be his, is this his first one? Directing? I don't know. And uh, how did he get Jordan Peele to get behind? I mean, I think that's an interesting pairing, first of all. Maybe they're friends. Maybe. Or, or admire each other. Maybe. Maybe they've been on a date, I don't know. Stop it. <laughs> this looks a lot like a John Wick, John Wick movie, yeah. Movie. I can feel it. But not quite as cool as John Wick. Like no. when he tries to throw himself through the window and he's like, oh, that didn't work. <laughs> That's a Jordan Peele thing in my head. Yeah. The so it looks like hero. it's a more grounded John Wick. Is that a fair thing to say? A reluctant hero, maybe. I don't know. Maybe. But clearly he's on it. He has a vendetta. Do we have a release date? I don't No, I didn't see it. Hmm. Let's take a look. <laughs> April 5th. April 5th, all right. Uh, and Jordan Peele has never let me down before. He's pretty good. I mean, pretty much everything he touches... Turns to gold. <laughs> yeah. He's even got his own little section in Universal Studios now. Yeah. For nope. Uh, so Monkey Man kind of strikes me as a, uh, a possible uh, base for a franchise. Yeah, yeah, totally. Again, not very much unlike John Wick. John Wick. Um, yeah. Um, all right. Well, let's just talk about it. What's, uh, unless you have any other insight you want to share. Me? Insight? <laughs> <laughs> you need to laugh. Um, so what are you going to give it? Do you want me to go first this time? You go first this time. I'm going to give it an eight and a half popcorns. Eight and a half popcorns for this one. Yeah. Because it looks really good. Mm-hmm. Story-wise... It's a little ambiguous a little bit, but it, you can tell obviously something happened. Now he's on a rampage and he wants to, you know, get get revenge on somebody. And to me, it looks funny. Like there's some, I feel like there's going to be some funny moments comic in elements. it. Yeah, some comic elements to kind of break up all the, what looks like it's probably going to be gory, mm. bloody. And if it's anything like John Wick, I imagine it's probably going to look like that. Except John Wick looks cooler. <laughs> Does he? <laughs> oh no. Maybe. Maybe. I mean, who's cooler than Keanu Reeves? I don't know. I guess Monkey Man. Monkey Man might be cooler. Um, anyway, that's my thoughts. What do you What do you give it? Hmm. I'm gonna go with a seven and a half. Ooh, a seven and three quarters. So you think? Because you gave Ricky Stanicky. Ricky Stanicky. A nine. I did. And you were you think Ricky Stanicky's better than this? Uh, no, I, no, no, <laughs> no, you don't understand. I do one understand. One of these stands alone as one. I get it. That's the trailer. Yeah. It may suck as a movie. Of course. And it may end up being a ten. I, I think don't know. Most of them suck as a movie. <laughs> but, I doubt that's the case here, but. No, but I think this one is going to be really good, and I definitely give it a, what did I say? A, seven and a half? Seven and a half, yeah. Seven and three quarters. Seven, seven and three. <laughs> cool. No, I, I think that's probably, I mean, just based on the trailer alone, I think that's a fair, that's a fair assessment. Sure. But I, I really like this one. I'll buy that. Is it lunchtime? I think, well, I've had most of my, are you done? Almost. Oh my God, you, I'm surprised you're not licking the bowl yet. Stop it. <laughs> Let us know what you guys think. Put it in the comments below. Let us know what your thoughts are on this movie. Uh, how many popcorns? Uh, are you excited to see this when it comes out on April 5th? Uh, this one is in theaters. Go see it and let us know go what see you it. think. Well, hopefully we'll go see it, but. We may. Let us know what you think of the trailer. <laughs> but uh, before you go, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Watch the videos that we have here. And until next time, I'm Scott. And I'm Smashing Sam. And Smashing Sam here wants you to come back on the next episode of the Hollywood Producers React. I'm going to finish this popcorn. Kabig bag